Okay, hi Luca, thanks for being here. Scott, go ahead. Yeah, we'll start in the room here with uh, Brad Townsend. It's still fresh, but uh, Rick Carl, I'll just give you guys our team on the rise. Was hoping you could sun up this season. Great season. I'm proud of our team, how, how we fight. I think we'll fight till the end, you know. Uh, because have an amazing team, so it's, it was hard. But I think uh, we gave everything. You know, we played especially hard in the playoffs. And I think, like I said, you know, I'm proud of our guys. Okay, Taylor Rooks. Luca, when you look back on this bubble experience, what will stick out to you the most? Oh, um, just hanging out with the guys a lot. Uh, you know, I think we hang out a lot. You know, um, on the court, and then we will live together. And then just hang out together. Uh, I think it brought us closer. Uh, I think I'll take that. TNT, we're asking players our last words as they exit the bubble. Can you give us your last words on the bubble experience? Like I said, you know, hanging out with the guys a lot. Uh, it was different than playing with no fans. Uh, it was a good experience. I mean, MB did an amazing job, you know, keeping everybody safe and giving us like everything to do when we're on that plane. And just uh, an amazing job by the way. Kyle, Luca, well, you and Kawhi had so many great games in this series. Did you draw any energy at all from sort of going against a, a guy who's won a championship and one of the other great players in this league? He's an amazing player. Uh, like you can see it every game, you know, he, he shows up every game. Uh, you know, it's just hard to stop him. Uh, it's, Almost impossible to stop him, you know. Like I said, he's an amazing player, and you know, a lot of people look up to him. Uh, Mark Medina. Look, how did you view the more strong you know, like this? Terrible fall, you know. I'm gonna say it's two games in a row he did something like that. And I really didn't, I hope so. The first game, it wasn't a purpose, but looking back at the, at the fall of this game. You know what I think, so uh, just, I don't want to deal with that, that kind of players. We just move on. And last one in the room is from Ben Golliver. Uh, Coach Marlell said he expects you to come back next year with added elements to your game, sort of like Larry Bird or Michael Jordan have done in, in the past. Do you have anything in mind that you want to improve on after getting a test from a team like the Clippers? I mean, there's a lot of things to improve on. You cannot work just on one thing, you work on everything. Uh, but I think especially work on my shooting, uh, that's my key, but you gotta work on everything. Okay, um, Saad. Hey, Luca. Uh, w when you look at how how you ha how you had to operate through the game, uh, and and honestly, back through game four as well. What what does it say when a team doesn't uh, die down even after you guys are uh, you guys are down so much in the second half of games? And it shows that we want to win, you know. Uh, you know, obviously they're gonna make a run. Their team, they they can make a run, and they're gonna make a run. Um, but we know that we, we can make a run. So I think you just never give up. You know, we were fighting the whole game, and that's that's what I'm proud of. The McMahon. Look at the at the beginning of the season. You said the goal for this team was to make the playoffs. Obviously, you guys accomplished that. Where do you anticipate? the goals being going into the next year, and, and when do you anticipate having realistic goals of uh, this team being a championship caliber team? I mean, my goal every start of the season is win a championship. There's no other goal, so that's going to be mine. Okay, Dan Wilkie. Hey, Luca. The, the Clippers tried to defend you very physically. Obviously, you mentioned Marcus Morris. Um, what, was it mostly just him, or was it a team-wide thing? Do you think they tried to get under your skin in the series? I mean, they're a great defensive team. You know, they have uh, a lot of good defenders. You know, they were switching. Uh, I feel like every other quarter was somebody else defending me. But, you know, they are a great defensive team, so it was tough to, to score. Our last one in English is Dave McMenamin. Hey, Luca. So two years in the books now, uh, done your sophomore season. How have what you've done in the league, uh, how does it compare to what you expected of yourself when you came to the NBA? Obviously not that much. You know, uh, I would expect I would be here today. You know, I just wanted to play in the NBA. 
that was my dream. Uh, you know, I just gotta keep going. You know, keep working. I have great teammates, uh, great staff, great people behind to support me, and you know, just fun playing with them. Okay, I lied. We've got one more in English from Taylor, who's in the room. Then we'll go to Spanish. Thanks, Luca. Luca, so throughout this bubble, whenever you've had a big game, people say, "All right, Luca Doncic, he's on the way to being a superstar, or he's a superstar now." So, I guess, how do you define what a superstar is in this league? I don't know. I would say a player that plays good and wins games. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll move into Spanish. Pedro. Luca, ¿qué aprendizaje te deja esta serie de postemporada ante los Clippers de cara al futuro? Teniendo en cuenta también que Christoph Porzingis no pudo estar en los últimos tres juegos, también Dwight Powell, una lesión también importante en el equipo. De cara al futuro, ¿cómo ves a los Mavericks y qué aprendizaje tienes de esta serie? Eh, tenemos un futuro muy, muy brillante. ¿no? Si seguimos trabajando, si seguimos jugando tan duro como hemos jugado en playoffs, eh, tenemos un futuro brillante. Okay, um, Gerardo. Luca, tremenda temporada. Yo sé que está super disappointed ahora mismo, pero eh, esto parece como una un recordatorio de cuando Jordan y los Pistons, cuando él perdió antes de empezar a ganar campeonato. Eh, ¿Cómo eh, cómo es tu mentalidad cuando tú ves todos estos recordatorios del NBA? Y, y como dice Bad Bunny, tú, Luca Donchi nunca falla. Luca Donchi va a estar para aquí para, para mucho, muchos años. Tus pensamientos. Bueno, yo solo eh, quiero seguir trabajando. Eh, tenemos un tremendo equipo que puedo conseguir eh, muchas cosas. Eh, queremos ganar el, el, el anillo, por supuesto. Y bueno, yo quiero, solo quiero, quiero seguir trabajando y jugar mejor, mejor cada día. Okay, the last one is going to be Manolo. Luca, en el caso, ¿verdad? Hablaste sobre Morris. Danos, danos un poquito de información sobre cómo fue esa jugada y también eh, cómo comparas lo que es estos playoffs, tus primeros playoffs con lo que fueron tus playoffs allá en, en España. Eh, bueno, creo que todos, los, todos han visto qué ha pasado y lo que es su intención es. Eh, pero bueno, eh, y comparando aquí los playoffs es. No sé, es parecido, ¿sabes? Todos juegan uh, mucho más duro, eh, la defensa es mejor en los playoffs y bueno, se parece un poquito. Ok, thanks, Luca. Thank you.